Hi, today I wanted to show you how to transform your iPad into your own dedicated communication device. So first, what you need obviously is your iPad, and then you can download a communication app. They do have several paid apps. Um, the one, the free one that I really like is um, the GoTalk Lite app. The one that I have here is the GoTalk Now, and it's the paid version. I need the paid version in order to download um, copies of um, my other profiles for my other students. Um, but the light works just fine. It doesn't give you as many features um, as obviously the paid version or as many pages, um, but it works very good as a beginner um, communication app. Um, so before we go into the app itself, I want to show you how to make the device um, into a communication device itself. So the feature that makes it this way is uh, guided access. So I'm going to open my settings button. I'm going to come down to um, accessibility. I'm kind of already over there. Um, and then I'm going to go down to guided access and I'm going to turn it on. And this is going to make your device um, so that you can't get out of an app. Um, so if you're in the communication application, you turn on guided access and your student or child cannot get out of it. So we do set um, passcode and I'm just going to do just one, two, three, four, five, six, but you can do whatever. Just don't forget it. <laughs> um, and that's our code. So when I open up an app, I'm going to open up my GoTalk. Um, and I don't want my child to get out because normally you click the home button and it exits out. So what you do is triple click quickly, one, two, three, and guided access turns on. And you saw the button that the button in the middle of the screen. So if I try it again, um, it asks me to, that's how I exit out, um, to enter my passcode and that will be to exit it. So I want to show you the features that are on here. On the top left, we have end, so guided access will be over. Um, resume is in the top right. In the bottom, we have options. So you can turn on or off the volume button if you don't want your child to have access to the volume buttons. Um, of course, keep touch on, or when you touch the screen, it won't work. Um, there's also a time limit. So time limit will come on, like you can turn it on if um, your child is using the iPad and you wanna limit their time on YouTube. Um, you would turn on that feature and can pick how long you would like them to be able to use it. Um, there also is another feature over here that if you circle a certain area, um, it'll block it out. So then that becomes a dead area. You can uh, modify this button by grabbing the circles and dragging them so you can make it bigger or smaller. And then you press the X to, um, to delete it. Um, so that is how you use guided access. Um, I wanted to show you, so let me go ahead and show you um, the application GoTalk. Um, so I'm going to pop in another video here um, showing you how to um, add buttons on the GoTalk Lite application. And this is what you um, the screen will look like. Um, we're going to want to be in page editor mode. So from here you would just press page, page editor, um, and this page is already kind of set up because I was practicing on here. Um, we can determine how many buttons are going to be on a page by going down to this little um, uh, settings button down here. So you can change the background of the page if you choose. Um, but I like do like backgrounds. I don't like just white because it kind of makes the, um, the button pop off the page. You can see a little better, and you can determine how many buttons that you want on a page. So let's just say, let's do nine. We're gonna do colors um, on here. Um, an express page just means that it goes up and gives you a message window. So if you wanted to add buttons in there to make a sentence, um, you could do that. But for our purposes right now, we're just gonna do just a basic. Um, so then we're gonna come over here to the exclamation point. Nope, nope, sorry, the plus button. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to page wizard. And that's gonna help us to make this page a little easier. Um, so we're gonna go and title it colors. <clears throat> you can add images from your library if you'd like, um, if GoTalk has them. So um, 
we're going to try it and see if they do. Um, you have to download it. I did have to download it before, but it is free to download. So I'm going to add um, colors on here. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, white, brown. Oh, how many buttons did we do? Okay. Um, I guess it just keeps going on and on, but we only asked for um, a page with um, three, six, nine. So we're just going to go ahead and stop there. And then I'm going to do done. Oh, I see what it did. Anyway, okay. So um, with page editor, it just pops it all up um, and gave me a whole new page. So I guess I can still use page one for something else. Um, so now it's all populated. If we go press the, the home key again and then press player, now we can see that we can use Blue, the page. White, brown, purple, yellow, orange. Um, I wish that we could do a little more, um, give a little more room in between um, each button, but in this particular instance, um, we cannot, or in this, with this particular app, we cannot. Um, the, this down here just means you can jump to a page, so you can go back and forth. That's also a feature that you can take off. Um, and then they do have quick buttons, which would be like core words if we wanted to add them, or quick things that they might want to say, like stop, go, please, mine, um, stuff like that. Anyway, this is just, um, oh, and then to get back to page editor, say we're done here, or we want to take off page one because we just want colors, um, we're going to hold this button down for eight seconds, and then it goes back into the page editor. So then we go to page editor um, here. Uh, if you can do one particular button at a time, I had made the text really big because I was practicing with the alphabet. Um, so we can, uh, let's see, say we want to do, we want it to be the letter A. Um, we can move it around and then you can add an image. And I did um, put some in my photo library. I just copied some images from the from the web and then you take it and you can pinch it and make it small. You can add other ones. So say if I want to add um, Apple. Um, oh, I think their internet search is pretty nice. But let's do the Go Talk. Um, so these are the ones that come come with um, Go Talk. And then we have A. Um, you want it to say things. You can either allow it to access your microphone or not. Um, or you, you could do, re um, or just text to speech. And, let's a. and there it is. So we have the letter A. I'm going to go back and put it in player mode. A. A. And then we can do that with all the other buttons. So if I want to go back into page editor, hold that button, go to page editor, and then I can do another button. So again, you can move the text around, you can add borders. Um, you can make them more or less if you only want a couple of buttons on there. Um, they do have scanning options, but we're not going to go over that today. Anyway, I just wanted this to be a quick um, little um, tutorial to get you started on using um, the GoTalk um, app. In order to make this a uh, dedicated communication device, you'll also need a case. Um, there are several cases out there that I've seen on the market. Um, you can order them through a um, big box store, um, just or go online and order them. And they, you know, range in any, um, you know, from twenty to you know forty, fifty dollars, depending on what you like. Um, they have cases uh, that have straps and some that have handles. Uh, the thing that you should consider is just remembering the texture um, and the of the type of uh, case that it is. I found that um, harder cases are uh, more durable. If you have the rubbery ones, um, the students tend to pick at them or chew on them or pull them, pull them and they don't last as long as um, a case that has a little bit harder surface. Um, but these are the ways 
um, you know, putting them all together, having the communication application, using guided access, and adding a case can transform your iPad into your own communication device.